Right Honorable Sajimi Shwaja of the Anila, Honorable Ministers. Like to know um, what has transpired during this short meeting. Well, we had a very a good discussion about the development opportunities in Nigeria, about the brave steps that the government is taking to address some of the economic challenges. These challenges are affecting many around the world, but not everybody has dealt with them as directly as, as the government of Nigeria is. So our job at Standard Chartered is to help support the economic program of the country, to help re restore all the confidence that's appropriate in this fabulous country for international investors, but also for the local business community to provide financing and to provide finance and, uh, and, uh, and advice on how to best position Nigeria for this next chapter ahead.
We're aware of um, what your uh, institutes or your ins agency has been doing uh, regarding climate uh, adaptation, and this government is working towards that as well. How impressed are you with what uh, the government is doing so far, and how ready are you to support that? We're very ready to support this. The Standard Charter made a commitment a couple of years back to deliver $300 billion of transition financing. Most of that will go into Africa, South Asia, and, and developing Asia, where we've been operating for well over 150 years. And the idea there is, is to provide some of the catalytic capital to help to, to really accelerate this transition. We recognize that the transition has to be a just transition, so that the people of Nigeria must continue to have the opportunity to develop. And that, that means an element of, of reliance on fossil fuels while at the same time investing in the transition. So these are some of the ideas and some of the, the concepts that we discussed with, with the president and, and uh, with his climate advisors and, and finance minister and others. Uh, these are the, the opportunities of our time. Uh, we think that Nigeria is striking an appropriate balance. And what the government is doing, how do you assess it? I think the government is, the first of all, they've been in, in office for one year. Uh, they tackled some very, very difficult economic challenges right up front. And the fact that climate plays a central role in their agenda, given everything else that's going on in the country, I think is quite encouraging. And I'm, I'm, I continue to be encouraged about the, the prospects going forward. Thank you so much. Thank you.